What is going on everybody? So in this video, what I'm gonna be doing today is upgrading the fuel system on my 1990 Nissan 300ZX NA. So this is in preparation for the higher horsepower after I install the turbos. So basically what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking out these. So there's my fuel rail. These are the old style fuel injectors as this is a 1990 OEM fuel rail. Everything just nice and dirty over here. So I'm gonna clean that up real good. I'm gonna get this whole fuel rail out. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be installing these new fuel injectors. These are Nismo 740cc fuel injectors, new style. And uh, they're in a 300 degree fuel rail. If you've watched my previous videos, you know that I bought this used from a local seller. They weren't used very long and everything's supposed to be in great condition. So I'm taking his word for it and I'm gonna run it as is. I didn't change any of the seals or anything. He said he did all of it. So I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna run it, see how it goes. If I have any issues, I'll address it at that time. But pretty pleased with this purchase. So I'm gonna be running a 300 degree fuel rail. I'm taking the old one out completely. There is other ways to use these injectors with the OEM fuel rail. That's the older style fuel rail. You can buy adapters and stuff from Z1 Motorsports or Concept Z Performance and then do a conversion. Uh, I'm just gonna run this fuel rail. I like it a lot better. It's gonna work better for my situation. And with the new injectors, I know I need new plugs as well, uh, new wiring. Also, if you've watched my other videos, you know I have a new wiring harness for my car. And that wiring harness that I ordered has the new style plugs. So that's gonna be a plug and play situation there for me. What I'm also gonna be doing today is upgrading my fuel pump because the NA fuel pump is not sufficient for what I'm doing. I need an upgraded fuel pump. So I have the Walbro 255 fuel pump right here with the install kit. I'm gonna be installing that as well. This is supposed to be good for about 550 or 600 horsepower. My car is probably not gonna reach that anytime soon. I'm aiming for the 400, so this is more than sufficient for me. If you have a twin turbo fuel pump or something, obviously you don't need to do something like this. The stock twin turbo fuel pump will probably handle more power than even more than the Walbro 255 will handle. So I'm just doing it because I, of course, have the uh, OEM NA fuel pump. So that's what's going in the car today. I'm gonna try to keep it short and sweet, but we'll see how that goes. Nothing really goes uh, short and sweet with the Z32. <laughs> Anyways, let's get that old fuel rail out. So fuel rail is removed, ready to come out completely. Only thing, this ground right here, that goes from here to the fuel rail. Do I need that on a 300 degree fuel rail? If any of you know, let me know in the comments. I don't think I do. Let me know what to do with this or if I'm missing something. Look at that old versus the new. Ooh, that new fuel rail is gonna look so sweet. So this new fuel rail and the injectors are ready to go in. These are the seals that go at the bottom of the injectors between the injector and the engine and you can see they're pretty rotten. So I got new ones I'm gonna put in. So these are the old seals right here, and these are the new ones that I'm gonna put, and then I'm gonna fasten this down to the motor. Also, what I purchased recently was the Z-Spec hardware kit. I think this is a stage three one, the one that has like every bolt you can think of, and, uh, and slowly throughout the build, I'll be replacing the old bolts and stuff with these. So. This thing is gonna look super nice. I am super pumped about this, guys. Okay, so the fuel rail is installed. This took a lot longer than it should have. So as you can see, I had to remove one of the heater pipes. The reason I removed that heater line was because the braided stainless steel fuel lines that were coming off of this fuel rail, one was a 90 degree, and fitting and the other one was a 45 degree one and they were hitting the, the coolant lines and the heater pipes back here so i took this off just so i can make it clear and then i thought i would put this back on afterwards i kind of want to paint them anyways that so I'd, i wasn't too worried about taking it off but i had to remove those fuel lines because they don't they don't work not for my application these aren't going to work these are the ones i got so, so I bought these injectors and that fuel rail used and this, the previous owner had these ones, but they're not gonna work for my application. So what I'm gonna be doing is buying new fittings. I'm gonna buy two 180 degree fittings that go like this. And then I'm just gonna put rubber hoses on them and then use the stock fuel regulator and damper 
and keep the rest of the fuel system in the engine bay OEM. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. I'll see how that goes. I don't have those fittings right now, so I'm gonna have to buy those and then finish the rest of this, which is fine because I can put the plenum on and then finish this afterwards. Now what I'm gonna do is take apart my trunk so that I can install the new fuel pump I got. Let's go. So from my understanding, it's a little different in the two plus two from the two plus zero. In the two plus two, I guess the fuel pump is right under the carpet in the hatch and in the two plus zero, it's right underneath your parcel tray. So you gotta take a bit of the trunk apart. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do right now. So it's supposed to be right under there somewhere. So I think I have to take apart this, 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 and this just to get to all the bolts. I'm probably gonna have to move my subwoofers and stuff out. By the way, side note, I love how clean my trunk looks with the sound system. I have a video on my channel if you wanna check out when I did this. And to get this all apart and save you guys from some boring footage, all we're gonna do is one of these. And there you are. So super easy to get the parcel tray out. There's four nuts, two on each side, and then four screws along the bottom. Once you remove those, you can remove your parcel tray out. And then right there is our fuel pump. So that's what we wanna remove. get those clamps off there's one screw clamp and two of those uh, spring clamps once you slide those off then you got to take those three hoses off they're kind of baked on there you have to use uh you should use i should say some pliers like this crack them loose and take them off be very careful doing that because this is these are old hoses and if you crack them or damage them they're not fun to replace so once you take those off then it should all come up in one piece. As you can see, I already disconnected the connectors here so I can pull it all out. So now I'm gonna try getting those hoses off and then pulling this thing out. Holy crap, those two small hoses were such a royal pain in the ass. Probably took me 45 minutes to get those off. My back hurts, my fingers are hurting, but I finally got them off. And as you guys saw, I got the fuel pump out. I just put it down here for now so it can drain. There's still some fuel inside it, obviously. So I'm just gonna let that drain out slowly. I'm gonna leave that there for a few minutes. I'm gonna go check out the fuel tank. Okay, check out how mint the bottom of this tank is. I love how minty my car is. Like, it just surprises me every time I take something new apart. Look at the bottom of this tank. There's not a speck of rust or absolutely anything at all. This tank is beautiful. That orange isn't rust, that's part of the tank. But look at that, my God. Crisp. Anyways, I'm gonna cover that up so nothing falls in and uh, start installing this fuel pump. Basically, from what I understand, what you wanna do is disconnect this and then replace it with the new line. This one's longer because this pump is smaller than this one. So you replace this line, this fuel hose with that, and you wanna open this clamp and take off the fuel pump and then attach this hose to the bottom of the new fuel pump right here and then this electrical connector these right here you attach this connector to it because this connector is the one that's going to go inside this fuel pump and they give you these little sleeves so you can crimp the wires. I'm not gonna crimp them, I'm gonna solder them because that's gonna make me feel a lot better. 
and then you got some new clamps and a new sock which is good because this one looks kind of crusty uh, anyways I'm gonna mount you guys up and I'm gonna start uh, swapping things over I'm sure this is gonna be a lot of trial and error I'll walk you guys through everything I did at the end okay so small problem I just sent a picture of this to my buddy because I was asking him he's done this before where the sock goes because the way it's made with the wall bro it's supposed to go right at the bottom here but obviously that's not good because the because the sock on the old pump is all the way at the bottom here so that's going to be at two different heights which is obviously not good so he said that the pump needs to be mounted down here with the sock right on it so the hose that came with the kit is too small for that so i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move this down and then get a longer fuel hose that runs up there so that's what i'm gonna do right now so luckily the auto parts store just down the street was still open for another 15 minutes i ran over i got some new fuel hose and i got some hose clamps and this is not going anywhere so i mounted this up to the bracket tightened it up pretty much as much as it would uh, secured the sock at the bottom and then i ran the fuel line from here all the way here kept it nice and short not too long so that it doesn't come into um, contact with this at any point and then now what i'm doing is pretty much just attaching the new wiring harness that's going to go to this fuel pump so i just stripped these wires and i'm in the process of stripping this one so i just cut off the the ends the connectors that are all, that were on them i decided i'm just going to crimp these because i realized i don't have my uh, my soldering iron on me so whatever crimp should be just fine well there's the final product yeah pretty much just got rid of all the old pump and the sock and then I used hose clamps to mount this down here. These are really tight. This is not going anywhere. And then I mounted the sock directly at the bottom, ran a fuel line all the way to the top. Uh, that's it. And then I crimped these wires to the new wiring harness. That's it. This is ready to go in. So the fuel system upgrade is done. This was a Walbro 255. I also installed the Gizmo fuel injectors with the 300 degree fuel rail. So now I'm just gonna install the fuel pump back in the car. I'm not gonna show you that because it's literally the opposite of me taking it out. But that's pretty much all I got for you guys in this one. So I've been grinding. Um, I'm probably a lot further along than what you guys are seeing in this video. I don't know when this video is gonna go up, but, but yeah, like if you look at the motor, I already got motor mounts and stuff on there. Like I said, I don't know when this video is going up, but I am getting it done. I'm just not uploading as much right now because I'm trying to put all my effort into getting this done. And when I get time, then I'm gonna upload the video. So thank you guys for the patience. Thank you guys for the support. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.